For two weeks, Winnipeggers and visitors alike will be treated to the thrill of live sport. And once it's over, well, we'll definitely have fond memories. But what if we could make live sport last forever? Artist Peter Farmer returns home to Winnipeg to create Art of the Games. Well, it's kind of, you need to do a lot of research because you have to know what you're doing. You don't want to be sort of thinking, thinking about it over and over, which it's kind of like an athlete training, you know, training, training. When you're doing, a, you know, a jump shot, you know, you have to have done hundreds and hundreds of them to, to actually get on point. So when, when you have the game that is, is uh, happening in front of you, you don't want to be thinking about technicalities. So basically, I when I do the paintings, I build and build and build into the point, and then it gets really exciting at the end of it when you do start doing the big moves, which is almost like at the end of the game, you get that rush of energy and uh, effort. Live painting is one of Peter's specialties. He photographs the event first, and then goes to work transferring what was shot through his lens to the canvas. And he was top choice for National Leasing, a local sponsor of the Summer Games and Art of the Games. For years, uh, 40 years, we've been collecting art at National Leasing. We probably have 240 pieces, mostly Canadiana. And uh, we've uh, met uh, Peter a while, a few, few years back, and uh, he did a uh, mural in our uh, um, in our boardroom and it was spectacular and we had so many comments about it. When we were putting ideas together for the games, this idea came up of Peter maybe doing some pictures of the games and us uh, taking that, those pictures and auctioning them off and giving it to kids for sports. Peter will also be at athletics, swimming and the closing ceremonies. At a very special VIP reception on the closing day of the games, the four artworks will be auctioned off with all proceeds going to Kidsport, a non-profit organization that helps less fortunate children participate in sports through programming and funding, so all kids can play. Any time you have a games or an event this size, which is on a national scope, it means a lot. It means a lot to people in Winnipeg, period, because it gives them pride in their city. Uh, for us, we're a national company, so to see all over the provinces here and to be able to be in front of them uh, as a sponsor of the games, it's, uh, it's special. And for myself, I mean, I've always had sport in my life and it's a terrific, terrific thing. So what will be the hardest sport for Peter to paint? I don't know. I think basketball. This one is going to be hard. There's a lot of people on that court. <laughs> if you would like to bid on the artwork and see Peter painting at the other venues, go to nationalleasing.com. For Canada Games Now, I'm Tracy Koga.